Today I'm going to show you something really trick. It's called ChemSharp. It's made by a company called Dynaflux. And this is a great alternative to that age-old how do I sharpen my tungsten properly. Now, anybody who's TIG welded for more than 10 minutes knows that there's uh, the school of thought that we have to use a dedicated grinding wheel. We have to grind parallel with the wheel, not perpendicular. We can't have any kind of grinding marks because the arc is going to wander. A lot of little jumping through hoops. Now, that's all fine and good. Uh, some of the more expensive uh, tungsten grinders address the problem. I did do a little video on uh, sharpening the tungsten with a diamond wheel. Well, here's another solution for you if you don't like, like any of that, and it's called Chem Sharp. What it is, is it is a container with salts in it and this is going to put a chemical point on your tungsten. Now this tungsten here I knocked off the tip just so that we could have basically the kind of tungsten that you're going to get right out of the box. It's going to be flat, it's not going to be sharpened and rather than putting it up against a grinding wheel we're going to use the chem sharp. When you get the chem sharp the instructions indicate that they want you to take the torch and short out the tungsten to heat it up. I'm not a big fan of shorting my tungsten out against anything. Uh, you're going to have to extend it out of the cup and short it out against the work. I just don't think that's a, a good thing to do to your equipment. So rather than do that, we're going to heat up the tungsten a little bit differently. There's a piece of tungsten. This is going to simulate the way you would get it out of the package, uh, unsharpened. And rather than bring it over to the grinding wheel, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, chemically sharpen it with the chem sharp. Rather than heating it up by shorting it out against something, I'm going to use another alternative. I'm going to take a propane torch and heat it that way. Okay, so we got our chem sharp. We'll open this up. We'll start up our propane torch. And at this point, I suggest you hold the tungsten with a pair of pliers. It's going to get hot and even with a pair of gloves, it's going to be a little too hot to hold. So we want to heat up the tip of the tungsten till it's cherry red. Don't have to go too far, half an inch or so. When we dip this into the chem sharp, we're only going to dip it in about a quarter of an inch. I don't know if you can see that reaction, but as you dip it in, it really lights up. And this is where the tungsten really starts to transfer some heat. Now continually dip it in until you get the point that you want. And once I clean this up, I'm going to show you this is a really amazingly perfect point. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I take my little stainless brush and I'm just basically brushing the salt residue off of this tip. There's a little discoloration but that's to be expected from the heat. But I'm going to show you a close-up of this. This point is absolutely perfect. Now it does give you a little bit of a ball on the end. I like to flat spot mine but some guys still like to have a little bit of a rounded tip. This, so this is perfect. You can light this up right out of the torch and you're good to go.